Welcome, I'm uh, Josh Busby, an associate professor here at the LBJ School at the University of Texas at Austin. On behalf of the Global Wildlife Conservation Group, I'd like to uh, both introduce my colleagues and uh, tell you a little bit about this project. Uh, the presenters include uh, Leo Carter, Caitlin Goodrich, Lin Fung Huen, Cliff Kaplan, Delfina Rossi, and Wade Tanner. Uh, by way of background, just a few short years ago, uh, the poaching problem in range states in Africa in particular was at minimal levels. And since 2007, iconic species like rhino have uh, been poached in increasing numbers up from 13 in 2007 to an excess of 1,000 per year. A similar story is affecting uh, African elephants. Since 2010, between 2010 and 2012, 100,000 African elephants were poached. Uh, increasingly to serve uh, uh, the demand that has come out of Asia. And this has affected not just rhinos and elephants, but other species as well. And so <coughs> our research group um, has uh, begun a series of papers to try to address this problem. But beyond that, this is an important issue to the United States. Uh, first addressed in the executive branch, uh, 2013 executive order, 2014 national strategy, and more recently in the 2015 implementation plan. And it's also been reflected in a variety of legislative instruments in the U.S. Congress, including last week's House Committee on Foreign Affairs hearing on poaching and terrorism, as well as a variety of other legislative angles. So to that end, uh, the 2013 executive order and these other pieces of legislation all speak to uh, how this problem has been elevated from a traditional problem of small-scale poaching to one of uh, opportunistic actions uh, now to coordinated slaughter commissioned by armed and organized criminal syndicates that's generating billions of dollars in illicit revenues each year. Uh, and for these reasons, uh, the executive order uh, identified that this is now in the national interest of the United States to combat wildlife trafficking. So uh, to address this problem, this research group has uh, developed six different papers uh, tackling this problem from a variety of perspectives, including consumer demand, security, multilateral approaches, sport hunting, ecotourism, and public-private partnerships. And in this presentation today, we're going to give you just a glimpse into some of the work that we've done on this problem. And so without further ado, I'll turn it over to Lynn to talk about demand.